lost the battle, but my Pokémon win the prize for being most lovely. Hello. Why are you staring at me? Oh, a battle? I mean, I wasn't staring at you until you forced me to look your way. Plus... Crease? I'm not really sure how you would pronounce that. That's not a name I see in the wild very often. So to speak. Well, that's not good. Thankfully, we do have a bit of a level discrepancy here. Cubo. We'll let Bublin deal with this. I remember once long ago, I had this little imported build-your-own-toy kit that was a wind-up Cubone. I think I got it from Software Etc., which I don't know if that's even a thing that exists anymore. I want to say they all became GameStops by now. you were staring at me because I'm cute. A little presumptuous, but you do you. The world of Pokémon is deep. There are still lots of things we don't know. But I know more than you do. Kid, I hate to tell you... I have sunk decades into this series. Schoolboy Jack sent out Oddish. It is one of those, hey, you feel old yet things to realize how long I have been playing this series. But there you go. As long as the memories are fun and good. And they generally are. As it is, I have, like, three actual teams I'm working on at the same time right now. So, yeah. Even in the things I do for just relaxation, I multitask. Right now, the main thing I'm working on is breeding for stats on an Alolan Meowth. Because I've already trained Alolan Persian, but not Meowth yet. W -w what There is a lot to learn. For example, there are 50 kinds of TMs. Traded Pokémon level up faster. Your knowledge is impressive. I like that. Want to trade battle tips? I'll phone if I get good info. And my phone is already full. Honestly, might be for the best. My Pokémon are simply darling. Let me tell you how proud my darlings make me. Well, she certainly is happy about Clefairy. Pokéfen Beverly. And I mean, hey, the fairy is pretty great. I do have to wonder how different everything with the series might have been if Clefairy had been named the actual mascot of the series as was, I think, originally planned before it became Pikachu. 
imagine, if you will, cosplay Clefairy. Notchiered Clefa? That one maybe doesn't work as well. I don't know, maybe it could work. I can beat you in pride, but... My friend keeps a Meryl. I find them very endearing. Oh, I wish for a Meryl of my own. That is technically something I could use for the run. You just have to remember where they are. I think in Gold and Silver they were one of those that very rarely appeared unless there was an outbreak going on. I forget if that's the case for Crystal. But with that, I think we've fought everybody here in the National Park, so time to move on. And we get... Iceberry! Sounds like it would be like an extreme drink or something. Iceberry Blast! I'm going to read your thoughts. Well, my thoughts right now are it's late and I'm tired. Psychic Mark wants to battle. Oh, hi, Mark. And it's Abra. Next up, we have Abra. So now the question. Did you actually give your Abra any moves? Because they don't learn anything other than teleport naturally. However, they can learn things through TMs. But they also have very bad defense, so uh, we might not actually find out. Oh, Kadabra. That's a little more worrisome. And also, my favorite Pokémon. One of those little facts about the Durgan things. Kadabra was the first Pokémon I ever trained to level 100, so it has a special place in my heart. Alakazam looks cool, and I love the meme of Mega Alakazam sitting with all his spoons in front of Five Vanillish, but I always like Kadabra's design more. I misread you. I'd be strong if only I could tell what my opponent was thinking. Gotta get those mind games going. my studies, I'm ready for any Pokémon. Schoolboy Alan. And it's Tangela, and this is a bad matchup. We must eat the spaghetti. The spaghetti is eating us! Hit that flinch chance. We're just not going to hit that. But we should be okay. Whoops. Computation error. Darn, I study five hours a day, too. There's more to learning than just reading books. Reading textbooks is worthwhile every so often. 
When I'm reading and walking, I have to look down, so I notice items on the ground. Next time I find something, I'll give it to you. Uh, sorry. I don't have room for more numbers. I'm the flower shop's Floria. Listen, listen. When I sprinkled water on that wiggly tree, it jumped right up. It just has to be a Pokemon. I bet it would be shocked out of its disguise if you soaked it. I know. I'll tell my sis and borrow her water bottle. Look at a shimmy! So, yeah. In Gold and Silver, I believe you can get the water bottle directly after beating Whitney. In Crystal, you have to come up here and talk to that girl first. She goes back to Goldenrod's flower shop, and then you have to go talk to her there, after having defeated Whitney. So, yes, they make it a bit more convoluted on Crystal for reasons. But hey, it gives me a chance to go back and heal my Pokémon. Because they've been putting in some good work. La la la. Have plenty of water, my lovely. When I told my sis about the jiggly tree, she told me it's dangerous. If I beat Whitney, I wonder if she'll lend me your water bottle. Oh, you're better than Whitney. You'll be okay then. Here's the squirt bottle. And with that, we have a way to deal with the wiggly tree. Which, uh, knowing what I'm going to be dealing with, Coleco probably isn't the best to have in the lead. We are, however, going to go ahead and heal up. out late, which also is a problem for something else I need to do. Because yeah, there is one Pokémon in these areas that I can go ahead and get for the run, but it specifically only appears during daytime, so morning or night won't cut it. So, right back up this way. Go up here to the tall grass. And, Celebi, if you please. And there we go, it's daytime. So, let's head into the grass and see if I can find what I'm after. It's not too bad of an encounter, right? It's not that, though. Banui. There we go. So, yes. Sunkern does fit for the run. Though, I think the poor thing has one of the lowest base stat totals among Pokémon. It at the very least does have some moves to work with. So we're not totally in a Magikarp situation here. Let's see if that's enough. Slow level half health. And it still got out.
trouble is, how much of a return is it going to get from Absorb if it gets to use that? That's the concern here. But there we go. Sunkern, the Sage Pokémon. It is very weak. Its only means of defense is to shake its leaves desperately at its attacker. So yes, one of those that gets roasted by the Pokédex. I mean, you have to feel kind of bad for the poor thing. At least a little bit. So, onward. To the strange tree. It's a weird tree, you squirt bottle. The weird tree doesn't like the squirt bottle. The weird tree attacked. The weird tree is pseudo wudo. I was specifically requested to try running from Pseudo Wudo. Through the magic of save states, we will go back and do this properly, but I just want to see what happens. Well, alright then. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. <laughs> okay, yeah, that was pretty good. I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't that. <laughs> right, so, uh, yes, we'll go back and do this properly now. Right, so let's try this again. Also, now that I don't have any time-sensitive stuff going on anymore, I went ahead and put my clock back to normal, which also showed me something weird. The real-time clock on the emulator is still an hour off. It somehow didn't adjust for DST, weirdly. So that's something. Like, it's still reading an hour ahead of what my system clock is actually showing. I'm wondering how it does that. That's very weird. <laughs> But yeah, so I want to actually do this fight because, well, it's kind of like dealing with Snorlax. It feels like a mid-boss for this kind of run. Something that I should actually fight. I can't use it for the run, sadly. So we'll just get some experience. And the way is clear. Going this way, we can go back to Violet City, finally. We're going to hold off on that for the moment. Oh, we have twins to deal with. Anne and I are in this together. Except not really, because double battles didn't exist. Anne and Anne. Imaginative parents. So we have access to Thunder Punch now. Decent bit of damage, and Defense Curl won't do anything against it. Since, back at this point, all electric moves were special. And Coleco cares not for your concert. Sorry, Jigglypuff. And now, Glyphary.
I mean, I was going to keep using it anyway. Critical slap! But we bring the thunder! Hmm, a little too strong. We share the same feelings as our Pokémon. I can tell what my sister and my Pokémon are thinking. Pokémon can't do a thing if they're asleep. I'll show you how scary that is. But I don't want to sleep! Psychic Greg wants to battle. And it's drowsy! Pity Coleco doesn't have any Bug-type moves. That did not do much at all. Will I do more with Combat Punch? Hard to tell. At the very least, it didn't get disabled. Couldn't quite get that fifth. But at least Hypnosis isn't hitting. I lost. That's pretty sad. Eh, you got struck with the hypno miss curse, I'm afraid. Putting Pokémon to sleep or paralyzing them are good battle techniques. And we get Red Apricorn. Blue Apricorn. Now blue, I believe, is the Lure Ball. Black Apricorn is Heavy Ball. I... want to say red is Fast Ball? Because, like, there's three colors, I tend to mix them up as to which is what. Red, yellow, and white. But with that, we've made it to the next major town. Welcome to Ekrutik City. Hi, I'm Bill, and who are you? Hmm, Roam, huh? You've come at the right time. I just finished adjustments on my time capsule. You know that Pokémon can be traded, right? My time capsule was developed to enable trades with the past. But you can't send anything that didn't exist in the past. If you did, the PC in the past would have a breakdown. So, you have to remove anything that wasn't around in the past. Put simply, no sending new moves or new Pokémon in the time capsule. Don't you worry. I'm done with the adjustments. Tomorrow, time capsules will be running at all Pokémon centers. I have to hurry on back to Goldenrod and see my folks. Bye bye So, yes. This was what let you trade with the original Kanto games to get certain species that you couldn't get in Johto. However, you couldn't trade anything, obviously, that was new to the Johto games, be it species or moves. But it was a nice way of connecting to the past games and started the whole catch em all thing. I'm not going to go into my feelings on that in the modern day. I already have enough, really. But anyway, now that we're here in Ekrutik City, my favorite city in Johto, that's where we're going to call it for now. So thank you very much for watching, I hope you're enjoying the series so far, and I shall see you again next time. Until then... Just where did that bouncing pseudo wudo get to, anyway? The important mysteries in life. Who's that Pokémon? It's Tane!